YouTube, what's going on? It's Stangs here. Back with another video for you. As you can see, as I was getting ready to record this, Thor just decided he wanted to come hop on my lap, so uh, we're just going to keep recording it. Because he thinks he's a small dog. Look. <laughs> Alright, don't. Don't help me. Don't help me. Stop. Thor. Sit down. Got my face. Alright, yep, that's enough. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm just going to basically go through how to get zero delay when you have an NVIDIA graphics card, alright? So first things first, you're going to download in the description the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. It's going to bring you to this link here, and it's going to bring you to this page here. And you're going to click this first link here, the dot .zip. Alright, show in folder. Alright, don't ever open it straight up because as you can see, this is a zipped file. You see how the NVIDIA Profile Inspector here has a... Uh, zipper going through the folder it's not just a blank folder like this a complete blank yellow one so that means you got to extract it so right click extract all um, and then what you do is you click and then you right click and hit run as administrator so once it's open it's going to look something like this what i like to tell everyone to do is to restore whatever settings you have if you've changed anything in your nvidia control panel um, then it changes settings in here chances are you've probably changed some some stuff without even knowing it so just best option is restore current profile right here to nvidia defaults and that's going to put everything back to the default values as you can see everything's grayed out now nothing's changed next what i want you to do is go to the link in the description of the video it's going to bring you to a google drive folder and in that folder you're going to find two different profiles i'm going to have one profile for getting zero delay and i'm going to have another profile that has G-Sync enabled, where you'll have no screen tearing, but not as zero delay, but still very nice, all right? All right, so the two profiles I'm gonna leave in there for you are gonna be Nerdman New R-Bar, and then the other one is going to be this one, 45730 and above, blah, blah, blah. 45730 is gonna be your zero delay. The Nerdman one is gonna be the one with G-Sync enabled. You have a very smooth experience, very easy to see when you're coming around corners, but just a little bit more delayed with like your edits and stuff like that. I'm gonna leave both of them so you can try both. I'm gonna leave this in the Google Drive folder for you as well. And it basically just disables your control panel. So once you're done adjusting whatever settings and stuff like that you need, uh, you can use this to disable it. This is probably what you're used to going to to change your settings, right? What I like to do is uh, whenever you're done changing, whatever you wanna change in here, you can use the command that I gave you, this one here, and just disable it. So when you go to your task manager, you can see the NVIDIA container is here running in the background. You want to free that up, right? So I got you. This is what I'm here for. Double click this, run, bam. Gone. See that? And you still have all your settings applied, everything. You just don't need it. So you really don't need your NVIDIA control panel at all. So what I would recommend is just leave it disabled. Like I said, I gave you guys two different profiles to use. So say I want to use the zero delay one which would be this 457 one, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import it. So you're gonna hit this green button up here and when you click it, it's gonna pop up. You hit import profile. You're gonna click whichever profile you wanna open. So I wanna open the ultimate zero delay one basically. And then when I do, bam, you can see it just changed all these for me. So now I don't have G-Sync on anymore. It's all turned off, V-Sync off, that helps a lot. It turns low latency mode on, so this is the only one I would adjust if I were you. If you have a good PC, leave this on. If your PC is not the best, then I would just leave this off. But if you have a solid PC, you can turn low latency mode on, that helps. And then, as you can see, it did all this down here for us. I'm just gonna show you. All right, so all you would do is, after importing it, you just hit apply changes. Highlight this and type in Fortnite. Just type in F-O-R-T. Restore pr current profile to NVIDIA defaults. All right, cool. So see, now everything's grayed out. So that's the way to get it back grayed out. And if you really want, you can even just hit import profile and open up this same profile in Fortnite and it'll change all that for you. Just like that. All right, so just make sure you hit apply changes and that's it. That's it for the NVIDIA profile inspector. You don't need to go and change anything in your control panel. You don't even need to open it. Actually, you don't even need to ever use it ever again. All you need to do is have that command that I gave you and you can disable it.